Hi everyone, Joe for Jazby's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball uh, two box cello pack break. So 12, this is where the cello packs are born. They're, they're come out of those little boxes right there. So we're gonna do two of those, 12 cello packs per box, 24 packs total. With a chance at the Pelicans as well. So if you bought at least two teams, you'll get a shot at the Pels. So let's take this list right here. Let's sort by column A. And uh, let's, there you go. Allen bought two teams, let's see who gets entries. EA bought two, he gets an entry. Eric J bought two, that's an entry. Jernigan bought six, that's three entries. Jorge with four, that's two entries. Matt with six, that's three entries. Oliver with two, that's an entry. Eastwood with two, that's an entry. Sean Maddock with two, that's an entry right there. All right. So let's copy everybody's names here, get them into this list here. And the name on top after eight, three and a five. Name on top after eight, we'll get the Pels. One, two, three, four. And eighth and final time. After eight, it's Matt J. There you go, Matt. After eight times, there you go. You had some pretty good odds with you too. You get the Pelicans in this break. So let's sort this back by team once again. And let's print and rip. All right, so let's print out that list. All right, good luck everybody. Once again, here's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thanks for uh, spending a bit of your Tuesday with us. Got little Dodgers hosting, hosting, quote unquote, the uh, Braves in this one. Mono Cooney just walks. Tyler Brenner, uh, Kershaw should be uh, pitching game four, they're hoping. No, he's not. He th threw out his head in the first first inning. Tell him get off the mat, get off the plate, Acuna. No, he attacked him. This one, just, this at bat just got away from. Him, that's all. to feel on him too.
got some fans in Texas. Kind of spread out all over the place. They're just hauling like little pods. Looks like it's like a blowout game. Eighth inning of a blowout. Where people have left the stands like in a Sunday game. More packs to go. Yeah, Eastwood, you got my Lakers. Congrats to them. What a what a convincing win. And a lot of sighs of relief on that team, especially the front office. Remember, they traded away. Oof. Wow. What a bomb. Land up 2 nothing. It's Kobe White for the Bulls, Jernigan. but a dominating win for the Lakers and a sigh of relief from that front office because they had signed Frank Vogel. No one, people in L.A. weren't convinced about him. People weren't convinced about LeBron's motivation for coming to L.A. Would he be, had suffered his first sort of major-ish injury the season before? Got brought Dwight Howard back. He pieced together a team, made these trades, so on and so forth. And then it all kind of clicked after that. Definitely a couple scares from, from the Miami Heat, who played excellent in basketball. But Lakers definitely, definitely pulled away, and I was very happy about that. I mean, Heat have, the, have a bright future with guys like this. But in the end, LeBron and, and Anthony Davis did did what they what they needed to do. Very happy about that. It's been a long time. I think you know, it's been rough with losing Kobe Ryan earlier in the year too, which seems like a lifetime away. But very uh, happy about that. I was thinking of going to Staples Center <laughs> that night after they won. And I was like, yeah, I should go there. I should drive by, take a couple pictures, shout out to Kobe, and then, you know, come back home real quick. And I was kind of moseying around home, doing a couple things, you know, kind of half watching the, 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 the celebrations and the celebration interviews and whatnot. And then, I, then they flashed to a, to a shot on TV. There were like thousands of people in the streets around, uh, around Staples Center. So and I was and then there 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 were already like oh yeah cops of uh, the police have have shut down streets and they're in riot gear and they got horses out there patrolling the streets there wasn't aside from isolated incident everything was pretty much okay but a lot of people got arrested for staying out too late but um, Eric J with the but for the most part but I I was surprised people setting off fireworks and and everything. And, uh, well, people were setting off fireworks everywhere, even in my neighborhood. It was awesome. But, uh, but yeah, that, that nicks the plans of me going to downtown. I, was, I didn't, they closed out freeway exits, so I just, uh, I kind of breezed in. I breezed in and out. I couldn't, wasn't able to do that. Um, it doesn't say. 
think we weren't sending vet commons for this, but I guess all cards ship now, TJ. So yes, all cards will ship. Maybe the four box. We used to do four box. Maybe the four boxer didn't have all card ship, but the two boxers do. Don't know, but in this case, it does. All right. So these are the pink camos, uh, exclusive to this set. And obviously, all of these. Well, everything ships. So. We'll be getting everything, but these are exclusive to these cello packs. Nice pink camo, Zion Williamson. Let me take out the rookies here. There's Cam Reddish. And there's Nicholas Claxton. Carson Edwards. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Hachimura. Eric Pascal. There's Danny Green, he had a good final game. Tyler Hero, Jackson Hayes, Luka Doncic, and RJ Barrett right back here too. So the Tyler Hero will go to Jernigan with that one. And the uh, pink camo Zion goes to Matt, Matt J, who won the Pelicans by buying at least two teams, getting himself some entries, so on and so forth. Very nice. Congrats. Did I not upload that mystery box video? I don't think I did it, Nick Johns. Let me upload that really, really quick. Yeah, no, that was my bad. I guess I was just so, so amazed by the hits in there. Forgot to upload here. I'm doing it right now. Sorry about that, folks. There's the Luka Doncic for Eric J and the Mavs. Yeah, Freddie Freeman's pretty good. second and final box. This is a quick little two boxer. There should be another one up, folks. If not already, I'll do it after this break. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, of course.
get into packs. Do all those exclusive packs last. Now let's rip open these packs. free agent, shortstop free agent class coming up. 2021-22 shortstops. Seager, Correa, Lindor, Trevor Story. Going back to the Lakers, a lot, a lot of indication for some indi individuals on that team too. I think Dwight Howard really, really got his act together this year, and just played such a crucial big role during the regular season, the playoffs. I think he was just kind of all on board, all in. Got himself a chip. Playoff Rondo is definitely a thing. He definitely shows up for the playoffs. I don't think the Lakers win as, as, as convincingly as they do without him at, at key moments. It's Kobe White to the Bulls, Jernigan. Magic Johnson feels vindicated, you know, even though Remember how, how much of a mess that was? He's like, he kind of kind of kind of quit out of the blue. And everyone's like, what's going on? This is the whole soap opera. But then it just, and then people remember when Rob uh, Rob Palinka, right? He there people were like, are you guys gonna hire a GM? Something like that? Nope. A lot of vindication for him. You know, he didn't look as old as we thought he did. And again, that goes to Eastwood and my Lakers. Big congrats to them. But I mean, vindication for this guy too. Remember when Jimmy Butler went to, this seems like a lifetime ago, but when he's like, hey, I'm going to go to South, I'm going to go to Miami. And then everyone was like, lols Jimmy Butler, we thought you were about winning, that's why you left the Sixers. You know? So it was lols Jimmy Butler, but it turns out it turns out he knew he knew what he was talking about. Guys like Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero emerging on that team, Bam out of bio taking it to the next level. So they Miami Heat have a pretty young and scary team. They've got a uh, They've got good coaching, good front office. So a, a couple moves here and there for the Miami Heat. And, you know, they, they could be around for a long time. All right, there's another LeBron James insert. There's a Zion, NBA debut Zion for Matt Jay, Matt Jorgensen with that one. Nice. And a silver Eric Pascal. 
That's for the Warriors. That'll be for Oliver. Yeah, Arsenal's happy that Jimmy's finally getting the respect that he deserves. Kuzma. See that interview with Kuzma? He's like, hey, I'm half drunk right now. NBA debut, Green, Tyler Hero. Arsenal is saying he's glad that Jimmy Butler's finally getting the respect he deserves. I agree. I always liked Jimmy Butler. More for Jernigan. Dixon and the Heat. But yeah, again, like I was saying before, everyone was making fun of him because he was going he, he was going to Miami and people were like, What you're not gonna win chips in Miami. Nice John Morant green. Eric J with the Grizz. But hey, it turns out that, that Jimmy Butler knew what he was doing. Now, I don't want to get too far away from the moment because we'll have a lot of time to talk about this, but I think both teams now, Miami Heat and, and, the, uh, and the Lakers, have a lot of decisions and a lot of work to do in the offseason to keep it going. Maybe the, with the success of the Heat, they could lure a free agent or two. Or do they make some trades? What are the Lakers doing? Lake Lakers, Lakers had a lot of. Uh, they still have. Yeah, Anthony Davis could sign anywhere. I think he's a free agent after this. Arsenal, you're right. He could go to the Heat. Although, I don't, I don't know how likely going to the Heat would be. You know, and I think that. Uh, I think the. I think LeBron doesn't have. Does only has like another year or two. And everyone else is on, like, expiring. De yeah, exactly, Ben. Yeah, Lakers are a weird team, Ben. That's what I'm saying. I want to say in the moment, but there's still a lot of question marks because there's a lot of guys who are going to be free, who are on expiring deals, who deals are basically done now, now that this NBA season is over. Anthony Davis could, yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's the kind of the weird thing. It's almost like Anthony Davis, if Anthony Davis left L.A. without winning a chip, you know what I mean? I, 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 think, I think a lot of Lakers fans would have criticized him big time. But now that a championship, you know, mission accomplished, right? I wonder if, if most Lakers fans might be like, all right, thanks for the chip. And, you know, maybe Anthony Davis also feels like there doesn't have as big of an obligation to, to LA. Now he might feel an obligation to Anthony or to LeBron James. That might be that might be the uh, the difference maker, but but the Lakers have money. They're gonna they're gonna open up they're gonna open the wallet for Anthony Davis, but we'll see if he if he stays here, if he wants to go home to uh, to Chicago. I know he does love that place. Heat, I don't know. Yeah, Chris Lombardo is saying Heat are going to need to sign someone or trade because they're going to lose a lot of depth to free agency that they'll need to replace. Yeah, a lot of work they need to do. So, we'll see. I mean, because you know next year, Golden State is going to be better. Health, they're going to be healthy first off. They're going to be better. You know, you know the Clippers are a little embarrassed. They want to be better. You know, Raptors are still in the mix. I mean, it's going to be a, a very interesting offseason. But we're going to have all season to, to think about that and talk about that, folks. For, for at least the next week or so, I'm going, to enjoy, uh, I'm going to enjoy the Lakers winning that championship. And I think with, that, with, with Kobe passing away, I think... Uh, I think it was kind of nice to kind of cap a weird season and just a weird year with the pandemic, with the championship like that. I know a lot of Lakers fans here are very relieved here in the city. Now, if only the Dodgers can take care of business. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break.
Go Lakers.